Founded in India in 2006 with a vision to shed light even in the darkest corners, the Samapan Foundation provides support and assistance of any kind where there is a humanitarian, ecological, environmental or animal welfare need. In 2014, Samapan Foundation devised a low-cost, ecologically friendly construction method using Nylon 6 fishnet to replace steel within the structural slabs and recycled plastic PET bottles packed with earth to replace conventional baked bricks. This method of construction replaces steel in the building of dwellings in remote and difficult circumstances and in disaster areas. Regionally adaptable, Samapan's construction method is proven to withstand earthquakes up to 9.8 on the Richter scale. This unique construction method provides impoverished communities and disaster areas with the opportunity to construct affordable dwellings, recycle waste and create sustainable futures. Samapan Foundation has successfully built a hospital, health and education centres, a nursery and water towers in remote, difficult circumstances and disaster areas across India and Nepal. Construction has been initiated in South Africa to build a hospice and rehabilitation facility, educational centres and a community kitchen and lavatory facilities. Samapan Foundation's construction method is affordable. Nylon 6 fishnet costs a mere 5% of the cost of steel and in India, building with PET bottle bricks and Nylon 6 fishnet reduces the building cost by 60%. Not only are the materials used within construction low cost, they are readily found locally and if not, they are easily transportable to remote locations and disaster areas. The fishnet and pet bottle construction process begins with tightly packing the discarded, used 500ml and 1 litre pet bottles with mud, sand or fly ash to ensure no give. A foundation trench is then dug as per the load-bearing capacity of soil at the construction site. 15 centimetres of plain cement concrete, PCC, is then laid at the base of the foundation trench. The filled bottles are then placed in the trench at twice the width of the wall up to ground level width. Cement mortar slurry, one cement is to six sand, is then poured between the bottles. The nylon six fishnet, 210 denier, three ply, three centimetres by three centimetres, and fishnet ropes are placed over the foundation. The fishnet ropes are made by using nylon 6 fishnet cut into widths of 20 squares wide, then twisted to make fishnet ropes. On the foundation, over the fishnet ropes and fishnet, bottles are arranged in the configurations 1 and 2. Windows are created. The lintel is made by pulling the fishnet ropes and fishnet at extreme tension from 60 centimetres beyond the window. Doors are created. The lintel is made by pulling the fishnet ropes and fishnet at extreme tension from 60 centimetres beyond the door. Once the wall has reached the required height, with course configurations 1 and 2 stacked successively, the fishnet is linked with the bottle caps on the projecting outside surface of the wall, interlocking and creating a continuity between successive layers, thereby making the bottles one continuous structure. Casting the ceiling. Normal conventional shuttering, either steel or wood, is provided beneath the fishnet and the fishnet ropes that make up the roof space. The slab is cast on top over the fishnet bracings and cross bracings with a layer of fishnet over the top. A concrete mixture, one part of cement, three parts of sand, three parts of gravel, 16 millimetres, is poured over the fishnet and the ceiling is cast. A 500ml PET bottle is placed at 1 metre intervals along each rope to support the ceiling fishnet rope and a 1 litre PET bottle is placed at the edge to support the vertical fishnet rope. The horizontal PET bottles are placed 100mm above slab bottom. The walls then have to be plastered with cement plaster to cover the fishnet and bottle caps completely. Parts of fishnet rope and fishnet in front of the wall openings are also trimmed and then the ends are melted with flame. This first-of-its-kind construction method is certified earthquake-resistant up to 9.8 on the Richter scale. 
Summerpan Foundation's method of construction has been tested and certified by the Structural Engineering Research Centre, a constituent of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research in India. The structure, when tested within the laboratory, withstood 18 simulated earthquakes ranging from 1.56 to 9.8 on the Richter scale. In 2014, within the remote and hostile environment of Bali Island, Sundarbans, West Bengal, India, Samapan Foundation constructed and opened within the same year a 650 square metres, 30 bed charity hospital using PET bottles and nylon 6 fishnet. The unnecessary loss of life due to lack of medical facilities for the 95,000 people living on the islands prompted Samapan Foundation to build a state-of-the-art medical centre, complete with the latest diagnostic equipment, operation theatre, emergency room and ICU. The hospital is not only earthquake-proof up to 9.8 on the Richter scale, it is also flood-proof up to 1.5 metres and cyclone-proof designed to withstand wind loads from wind speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour associated with cyclones. Within the rural environment of Red Hills, Chennai, India, Samapan Foundation has completed a prototype double-storey construction. Built using conventional bricks and nylon six fishnet, this building proves the high tensile strength and second-storey load-bearing success of replacing steel with fishnet within the concrete slab. Stairs have been constructed using only nylon 6 fishnet and concrete. No steel reinforcement has been used. At two Indian locations, Bali Island Sundarbans in West Bengal and Red Hills in Chennai, eight metre high water towers holding 6,000 litres of water have been built. These four column structures have been constructed using PET bottle and nylon 6 fishnet construction. No steel has been used. The Sundarbans Tower, despite being built on clay which liquefies when it rains, has withstood the recent Nepal earthquake and cyclonic conditions. Our projects are managed by a dedicated team of international volunteers who do what needs to be done to achieve the greatest good for the greatest number. Samapan's mission is to change universal consciousness by opening minds and hearts through empowering volunteers to care for vulnerable, hungry and destitute people and animals. Please join us to bring about change. To donate, please contact donate at Samapan Foundation or visit our website at samapanfoundation.org to find out more. Thank you for your generosity.